let's get to Church is good to know that we serve a God that loves us so much until he is willing to look beyond faults and mistakes. And still bless us. Oh, ain't no doubt about it now. If God didn't look beyond our faults and mistakes, we would be in some kind of trouble today. No doubt in my mind, yeah. We have come this far by grace. God's amazing grace. And I know that God's grace and mercy have brought us safe this far. We all should have a testimony of the goodness of God. Do I have a witness? When you are going through hardship in your life. You're in the house, stay ready to see. And God has brought you out. Do you won't mind telling the world that the Lord is good. And I believe that somebody will agree with me today and give me a testimony that the Lord will bring you out. Not only will he bring you out, but he'll work things out. Although he may not come when you want him to, he always seems to get there all the time. He is uh, an on time God. together. Oh, 
I said to you saints, if you want God to move, go and pray. And watch God work. Sometimes you, you have to pray your way and praise your way through the midst of trouble and trial. Though you can't see your way, still stretch out your faith. Praise your way through. I'm glad to believe. I've been going through so many ups and downs in my life. No matter what's going on in my life, if I can just get to the church, yes, my faith and trust in God give me the assurance that everything will be all right. This is why I feel that it should be our test, sons of God. To turn this church house uh -huh. into a home. Yes. yes, Lord God. And not only a home, but a spiritual hospital. Oh, yes. All right. It's all right. My Lord. Because people need help now. Christians can unwind and let go yeah. and let go. Yes, go ahead, go ahead. Help when yourself. you come into this house, yeah. you don't have to leave like you can. There ought to be something said yeah. or done to give you some assurance. Oh.
He said, the Lord showed me where I got some quiet members and ashes going to the casino in the dog track and you ought to be ashamed of yourself. And they dropped the head. The mother said, preach, boy, preach. You preaching now, son. Well, when church was over, that son. Uh, uh, they were leaving at the church and uh -huh. little girl Come on up. Come walked on to one of the choir members and said that I don't know about that preacher. Uh -huh. So what you mean you hear that man telling us all we do? She said, that man ain't hearing from God. He's talking to my grandma. <laughs> Do 
nothing. Forgetting those things which are behind me. You got a new leader with a new vision? Hear he him. Church, life experiences have taught me that the house of God is where you come to drop off trouble. Drop off heartache and pain. Drop off sickness. This is a place where you can come and come to the altar and lay aside every way and the sin. That thou so easily beset us. Then we got to run on to see what the end going to be. This house is where you come to unload confusion. Yeah. Misunderstanding and worry. Yeah. You got to let it all go. Yeah. This house is where you come to release pressure and stress. Yeah. Give it to the Lord. Yeah. Then you got to pick up hope. Yeah. Jesus. Yes, Lord. You got to pick up some joy. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Jesus. You got to pick up some understanding. Come on. Yeah. Yes, Lord. And you got to pick up some love. Yes. The greatest commandment yes. in love. Yes. And then in order for y'all to go on, you got to have some forgiveness in your heart. Yes. It's hard to pray God if you got a bunch of hell in your heart mad about something yes. that's going on that you don't like. You got to let it go. We need to go to the church. So well, we can get ourselves right with the Lord. And get ourselves right with God's people. We must come together. Because with all of the stuff that's going on in this country today, the president that lost his mind. Men marrying men, women marrying women, and they adopting children. And folks going on the way they call these black. I don't care if he's purple, wrong and wrong, and I ain't going along with it. The church is where we come for a breakthrough. Somebody, as I get ready to leave, might need a breakthrough. Somebody might need a breakthrough in their bodies. Somebody might be aching with pain. And somebody might need a breakthrough in their finances. Somebody might have a problem on every hand. And the church is where you need to come to and talk to the Lord together. Ain't God alright? Well, if y'all won't get with me, that's alright. I'm going to preach anyway. And then I'm going on back to Pinecon, Alabama. Ain't God alright? And Bishop, when you get here, preach to them. Preach to them when they cook good for you. And preach to them when they fry up at you. Get the gamma! <laughs> 